One of the things that I love about shopping at markets in Mexico is that it's completely normal and expected that the buyer and the seller bargain with each other. At first it seemed odd to me, but it's a way of life expected by the seller and the buyer. It actually can become fun and enjoyable. You get to know the seller and he or she gets to know you. There are places in Mexico City where I have shopped at the same seller for over 25 years and we still bargain back and forth, but we know each other. We're in a relationship with each other. That's how it must have been between God and Abraham. We can hardly imagine the level of intimacy between God and Abraham as Abraham keeps pressing God. What about 50 good people? Okay, what about 45 or 40? I don't want to stop bargaining, so let's keep going on now. 30 and 20 and 10. The dialogue between God and Abraham is actually endearing. It's beautiful. It's tender. It's hopeful. Would that we all had that intimacy with God that Abraham does. Only someone in a deeply trusted relationship like Abraham has with God can be as bold as Abraham is. Don't we all desire that level of intimacy and trust with God? The intimacy that Abraham has with God is born from a lifetime of prayer, of spending time with him, realizing, of Abraham realizing he is in God's presence all the time. So over all those years, Abraham has a real personal relationship with God and can talk with him as he does. In the work that I have done over the past 12 years or so, with the Alliance for Catholic Education here at Notre Dame, trying to make Catholic schools available, accessible, and affordable to Latino children and families, we have one phrase we have said over and over a million times, and that is, it's all about relationships. We cannot say that enough. A relationship between the pastor and the parent between the principal and the parents is far more important than free tuition or any gimmick you'd come up with. It starts with relationships. Uh, two weeks ago, I moved into my new office and set everything up, pretty much how I wanted it to be. And then this past week, every day I go in, well, there's a huge ante room and then like eight offices. And every day I've gone in, there are the carpet guys pulling up the carpet. Great guys, Joe, Vinny, and Julio. As I came in and out of my office each day, I would visit with them and they would visit with me. Then I learned on Wednesday that they had to re-carpet in my office and everything had to come out of it that I had just put in. On Thursday, I learned on Wednesday, had to happen on Thursday. But I just couldn't, I didn't have the energy or the time to get myself, get, get all this stuff out of the room. So I called up Joe. I go, Joe, I cannot get all my stuff out of my office until next week. I can do it on Sunday. I got the 10 o'clock mass, I'll ask everyone to come over and help me. And um, he goes, okay, Father, we'll do it next week. So I rested great, great. Friday morning he calls me and he says, uh, we have different news, we have to do it today. We have to move to another job next week. And I'm like, oh, Joe, I can't get there that, I can't get there today. He goes, that's all right, we'll do it for you. We'll box everything up, move it out, lay the carpet, and put it all back in. It's all about relationships. Over the past week, those guys were not just carpet layers. They were Joe and Julio and Vinny. And I was not just not some other administrator moving into an office, I was Joe. So whether it's about God and Abraham or Joe and Vinny, it all boils down to relationships. 
And we see this so clearly in the gospel today as well. Luke encourages us to pray to God as our father, our loving parent, in which he teaches us what we come to call the Lord's Prayer. And then we hear the beautiful story of two friends who can approach each other in the middle of the night and ask for a loaf of bread. And we're assured that everyone who asks or seeks will receive and find. And that is because of the relationship into which Jesus has brought us with himself. The relationship between God and every human being is available independent of economic class, education level, race, gender. It's available to everyone. And the good news is that God wants this relationship more than we do. So this is not a 50-50 deal. God does 50, we do 50. It's probably like a 99-1. God does everything possible to make this relationship happen. All we have to do is to accept God's invitation. So again, I will say to you, it's all about relationships between God and us and between and among each other. We all know this at our deepest level. We all long for relationships. We pray because we're lonely. We want to be with God. We want to have a relationship with him. We spend time with each other because we want to have friendships and be in relationship with each other. And for the most part, these relationships are not formed by social media. They are formed and strengthened by our human contact with one another. But sadly, human contact has fallen upon hard times. And it's been replaced, not really, but sort of, kind of, not really, by virtual relationships. When I go to the store, I try as hard as I can to never get in the automatic scan line because I can't talk to anybody. I kind of like people. I like to be in relationships with them. And that voice on the automatic scan makes me crazy anyway. But get in the line and you can talk. How's your day been? You have kids? How are you doing? That is what makes us human. Time with each other visiting with each other. God is relational and so are we. We will be saved not by the automatic checkout line, but by talking with one another. We're talking with Joe and Julio and Vinny, finding out how long they've been laying carpet. They have families. So I challenge you and myself to spend more time today in this coming week with God and with human beings and with our phones. Pay attention to the deepest desire in your heart, the deepest longing in your soul, which is for relationships, which is for relations, relationships with God and with each other. That's our deepest longing. And it will not be satisfied other than by spending time with God and with each other.